Welcome back to Firefighter Caffaratus Fire Safety Tips. Today we're going to be cooking a meal. Um, I just want to first announce to everybody out there uh, for the fires in California, I hope you're safe and okay um, and everybody's back in their houses and things are going well. Now the other thing, a positive note, is we have a new addition to the family and his name is Nico and that's why I haven't been on camera for a little bit. He's just born and uh, I'll show you what he looks like. He's right here. Follow me. He's holy moly. Things are breaking left and right. But anyway, uh, there he is. He's kind of sleeping. I don't want to go too close, but that's Nico. It's baby Nico. Now let's get back over to business here. And uh, we're going to do another meal with Firefighter Cafferetta. Now, didn't expect this thing to kind of fall on me there, but let me fix that. Okay, so we're back in my kitchen. Today we're gonna do chili verde. I don't know if you guys like chili verde. It's a, it's a Mexican dish, it's delicious. And uh, at the firehouse, we love it. And at our house, we like it too. So what I do is I bought three pounds of pork shoulder, right? You can buy it at your local grocery market, have it chop it up for you. They can chop it for you at the meat counter or you can do it at home. Uh, you can do pork shoulder or pork butt. Either way, both good for stews. I did three peppers here. These peppers, yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, serrano. They're serrano. You could use jalapeno, but serrano. Serrano peppers are good. Actually, no. This is jalapeno peppers. Whatever. Just get these type of peppers. Get them at the grocery store. Okay, right here, pasilla peppers. Pasilla. See how they're kind of shiny, flat? They use them a lot for like... Uh, if we're going to bread it and put cheese in there, and people do this at the Mexican restaurants, very good, right? Stuffed peppers, delicious. But we're not doing that. So I got three of these guys. I got three of these guys. Two onions, yellow onions. A big bag. See this big bag? Of corn. Just kidding. Uh, a big bag. Now, these are tomatillos. Tomatillos are like green onions. They're delicious. Don't eat them raw. Cook them. Wash them. Everything you want to do is wash before you actually do anything crazy, okay? So also, cilantro. Now, I made a joke at work with one guy. I said, hey, smell this. Is this cilantro? And I slapped him in the face. The outcome wasn't that good. He slapped me back. Anyway, here is cumin. You can buy it at the store. You can buy it in many different ways. You can grind it up yourself. But this is ground cumin. We're going to put that in there too. And now, I don't want to forget, we want garlic. Garlic, garlic, garlic. You can put garlic. You could, this is a lazy way to do it right here, whole peeled garlic. But what you want to do is, this meal requires a lot of garlic. So it's kind of a spicy meal. It's a healthy meal. And a lot of vegetables, you could sneak it for the kids. You don't have to make it too spicy for the little guys. But you could use, like again, another packet of garlic. Um, I might use more than that, so I'm going to leave the garlic out. Now, I'm going to show you details of how to put everything together. I'm just going to give you the instructions here first, what I'm using. Now, this is also chipotle peppers. These are really good. I just put like one in there, just for like a little kick. It's a little kick. But I'm going to blend this all down in the blender. The tomatillos, I'm going to cook. And I'm going to put it in my, this is a crock pot. Now you could, you could do it three different ways that I know, that I like to do it. You could do the crock pot, right, which I'm going to do in the crock pot tonight. You set it on, set it, forget it. Six hours later, it's good. It's not going to cause a fire if you leave the house. So that's a fire safety tip. Now you could do it in a double cooker over here. Now the double cooker is also great. I, I do a lot of things with this guy. Thing is, you can't leave the house if you let this cook because you don't want a fire to happen. Uh, that takes... The double cooker takes about two hours, two to three hours for a double cooker, right, over there. The crock pot, you can put it for six hours and be all done. Put everything in there. That's how this dish works. Everything goes together. It's like you pour it in, you clean it up, put it all together. Six hours later, and the crock pot's good. Three hours later, two to three hours later, and, and the double cooker is good. Now, you can also use the Instapot. Instapot's another form that cooks really fast. Things are cooked like down in like a half an hour. Um, you could put it in the, in the Insta, Instapot, too. I don't have one, per se. Like, I don't have one here. Um, it is a good you know, uh, way to do it. You might have to look up how long it takes to cook it. I'm not as familiar with it, but those are three ways. So 
let's get to business. I'm going to show you how to do it in my crock pot here, and I'm going to wash the vegetables. Meet me back here in five. Okay, it's been six hours, and I have my helper here, Aiden. You're not the picture. There you are. And uh, so the chili verde is done. Yummy. Yes. My wife and my son, my family, they're going to love it. So now on, it's on the spicy side. Like I said, you could dumb it down. You can make it less spicy. If I, you I'm want. not going to eat it. Yeah, well, I mean, you can taste it. So, my little guy has pasta instead, um, just because sometimes if somebody craves one thing, another person craves another. Now, this right here, this is a really good dish. I want beans, too. Yes, tomorrow, I'm going to do beans. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the table. So, this is basically the chili verde right here. So, let me take this camera right here. You can kind of see it. Oh, yes. That's the chili verde right there. And it is absolutely delicious. So I'm going to serve this to my wife. And I'm going to eat some too. I'm going to show you some other things I'm going to do in a little bit. But this is our meal. Chili verde for two. Now, the baby, Nico, obviously he can't have this. And nor could my eight-year-old because he wants his pasta. But stay tuned to another fine and healthy dish with Firefighter Kai Ferrata at his house. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, we're back. So I cut up the vegetables, as you see here. You can see all the vegetables cut. What I do is I assort everything with the uh, dry, sliced and cut, and the stuff that's gonna be blended. I'm gonna go over that. So that's tomatillos. You wanna take off the the outer part of the tomatillo. You don't want like the, the skin on there, it's not good. Uh, not mean skin, but like the outer layer. So anyway, so let me get to this. So right now, the meat is browning, as you can see. Make sure that camera doesn't go crazy, but boom, right there. So we're gonna do the dry first. So the dry is really easy. What I'm gonna do is uh, black pepper. So you could do, boom, peppercorn. Put like a uh, tablespoon, okay? And dry, so this is dry. We're gonna do cumin. This is, like I said before, cumin. It's good Mexican spice. Now, again, I would say a little more than a tablespoon. And I'm gonna blend that up. You don't need salt. The meat has plenty of salt. So I put this right up here like this. I'm just gonna blend it for a couple seconds. And I'm gonna put it right on the meat. Put it on the meat. Once it's on the meat, keep letting their brown, right? And then I'm going to pour on all the uh, chopped vegetables, all the chopped vegetables, and then I'm going to blend uh, the ones I'm going I'm to blend, which is like cilantro, garlic, the, uh, jalapeno peppers. I was going to get serrano, but I got jalapeno. So this is good. So this is this is blended. So this right here. It's gonna, it's gonna create me to cry like I, when I cut the onions. <clears throat> and real men, real men cry. So I'm gonna put this right here. Put this on. Just like so. Basically, it's gonna season the meat. Now, another way you could do it is you could put it on top of the stove top and you could season it that way and put it on and like, you know, sear it. And that's actually a really good way to do it as well. I put a little olive oil in here, so it's a little bit, I don't have much left. Extra virgin. And you can just like, you can mix around with a spoon. Uh, mixing spoon. I know I have them. Boom. So, and oh, you know, another thing too is, honestly, uh, you don't want to use metal. Let me go back here. Use wood, you don't want to scratch your product. So, so season this down, get this nice and mixed up here so it's going to season that meat. The meat's, you know, it's it's not completely seared yet, but you just kind of want to brown, brown the meat a little bit, okay? Now you could do it on the stove top, that's actually the preferred method. I would much prefer on the stove top. The stove top would be the way to go. So now we have all the dry stuff in here. Now I'm going to put the wet stuff. Okay, and what I mean by that is my cilantro, uh, my peppers. Now my wife likes it spicy. She likes things spicy. So I have the garlic, I have the cilantro, I have all that in there. You can even put a little bit of the water, it's fine. 
because it's going to all kind of mix up. This is going to grind up. I'm going to pour it in the meat. So you're going to see this ground up. Put this back on. Remember, there's a little still spice in there. It's fine. That's, that's what you want. So we need to figure out a way that it can grind down. And if we don't have enough olive oil, you know, you can use a little bit of water. Um, let's see here. Let's do a little bit of a little bit of water. Watch. Let me show you. A little bit more olive oil. Let's pour all that in there. What we got left? A little bit of water. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's still just a little bit of water. It doesn't have to be a lot. And this is going to grind down. It's going to blend down to an amazingness. So that's going to be the sauce that the meat's going to go on. So I'm going to pour this in there. Oh, I can smell it. It smells delicious. Pour right in. Oh, amazing, right? Blender is done. Oh, you know what I kind of forgot? But no big deal. I could put this. So this is my Chipotle. So if I wanted to, for a quick minute, quick second, put a little Chipotle in there. So just a pepper. Uh, you can put a little more if you want. If you want to get creative, if you want to spice it up, if you want to make your, your wife love that meal, but maybe not the kids, you could reduce or you could you could add on to the spice. I'm adding on. So here we go. Spice is good. Let's get this on there. Pour it on. Just a little bit of that chipotle, right? Oh, right in there. Yes. Okay, we're done with the blending. Now let's go to chopping, putting all the chopped items in there. Chopped items are all the onions and the fascia peppers right here. So I'm going to pour this guy right in here. Boom. Awesome, right? So like I said, two onions, you could do medium-sized yellow onions. Pasilla peppers, you could do two, or you could do three. I did three. So last but not least, uh, this is obviously tomatillos. I'm gonna put the tomatillos in there. It's a big bag of tomatillos. Pour it in, and surprisingly, all this stuff fits. This is just gonna sit here. It's gonna simmer for six hours. I'm going to set it and forget it, and I'll come back in six hours. We're going to put the top on here, just like so. And let's see here. Six hours later, I'll show you what it looks like. And we're going to do after that for my little guy, because he loves beans. You're going to do beans like this, black beans. You could do pinto beans, whatever you want. You put it on the stove top, mash it up, and then you put a little bit of chorizo in there. I have a pound. I don't think you need a pound per se, but you could do like a half a pound and put it in there. And black beans are really good for you. So stay tuned and I'll show you the finished product.